Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 56. In Class 1, Division 2 locations, PVC conduit shall be permitted where blank? A. Metal conduit does not provide sufficient corrosion resistance. B. Only qualified persons uh, service the installation. C. It's installed in industrial locations. D. All of these. This is a hard question. And I'm not a fan of the uh, hazardous location questions. Those can be tricky. I would tend to give my best guess and then come back to those because they can take a lot of time to go through and look at. Now one thing about this, it has PVC conduit and we know that that's rigid PVC when we look it up. We've already covered that. And I like to look up conduits first. So that's going to be the first thing I look up. I'm going to check this out and see if I have anything that deals with my hazardous type location here. Here we are at the index, rigid polyvinyl chloride conduit type PVC. So I'm looking for something, possibly construction specifications is it. Uh, let's just go down a little bit to the end of our section. Okay, use is permitted, 352.10. That could be a possibility of something. However, let's consider this. We know that our hazardous locations start at 500 and they stay in the low, like single digit 500 numbers. So we don't have it here. If we look up through here, we've got one in 551. And let's, let's just go up a little bit. And as we're looking here, we don't have anything in that. Now, it is possible that one of these other sections, like this one on installation, will reference that. I looked an installation. I couldn't find anything. I went wh where we saw below uses not permitted and uses permitted. Didn't find anything that would answer this question. So what we have to do now is go to our hazardous locations. Okay, here we are in hazardous locations. Class 1, and it's talking about here, divisions 1 and 2 is what these apply to here. We want to find something that's going to deal with PVC conduit in one way or another. So if we start and we go down, we get to the bottom of the page we really don't have anything here that deals with PVC conduit. So it continues on this column. Let's go to the top of the page. Okay, so we're starting here and we're looking. Something that has to do with PVC conduit. And we go down and here we get to the next dark heading of another hazardous classifications. Let's look right here. Wiring methods. Now this is something you should keep in mind. Wiring methods can encompass everything. The wiring, the conduit, how you hold it up, how it's fastened. Basically, almost the entire electrical process can fall under wiring methods. So keep that in mind. And if you get kind of stuck somewhere and you see that, that is something that you might want to explore. So I want to do that right now. I want to go to wiring methods, 501.10. Now again, see, I don't like this kind of question. I don't like how it's worded. And I don't think it's a good test question. I mean, this could be good for a classroom homework assignment to see if you could find the answer to something to really dig into the code book. And again, in your test, you got to work really fast. You got maybe around three minutes per question. And you don't even really have that much time when you break it down. You have to work really fast. And a question like this can get you bogged down. All we can say is this is one, if you don't know it, if you don't have that experience in a lot of hazardous locations, you're going to make your best guess and come back to it. We're in a situation where we've come back and we want 
we use questions like this as an education in this lesson. As we go through this, we're going to learn enough things from doing this that might help us get the easier questions a bit faster. So this is the value in a question like this. I mean, I don't like it on a test. In this situation, okay, I kind of like it because it's going to make us work and we're going to learn some things. Okay, all of that being said, let's go wiring methods 501.10. Okay, here we are at 501.10 wiring methods. Now we see this bolt hitting a class 1 division 1. Okay, our question was asking for class 1 division 2. So let's look for a bolt heading probably B and see if we get something different. I mean, we could scan down these, but if we look across on the page, here we have at letter B, class 1, division 2. So we could start reading down these numbers and look for something. Now, as we get down here general, it says uh, the following wiring method shall be permitted. It says all wiring methods permitted in 50110A. Okay, well, let, let's con continue down here. And we're reading the first kind of sentence, the first line of each one. We're not seeing anything. But this is kind of interesting once we get to seven. Because, okay, it's saying in an industrial establishment, okay, that was one of our answer choices. And it says with restricted public access were conditions of maintenance and supervision ensure that only qualified persons service the installation. Okay, now that was a potential answer. And where metallic conduit does not provide sufficient corrosion resistance. Okay, now that was a potential answer. So we could be in the right place. It says reinforced thermosetting resin conduit. Okay, uh, we want PVC. This is RTRC in factory elbows okay but it continues and schedule 80 PVC conduit and associated fittings shall be permitted some PVC is a uh, schedule 40 and schedule 80 and that is a measure of the thickness so schedule 80 is the thicker kind this question is saying that when these conditions are met that you can use a certain type of PVC conduit. If you read this again carefully, you will see that all of those conditions must be met. It's not one or the other, but all of those conditions must be met. And again, here's the answer choices where the metal does not provide sufficient corrosion resistance and only qualified people can service it. It's got restricted public access and it's in an industrial location. So all of these are met, which is D. All of these is the answer. So we really had to look to get this answer. And on a test, again, this is one you might try to find the answer quickly and then just go. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.